All right, so what's going on everybody? Uh, today, we're gonna, we just got done doing the video for our 15 to 17 Mustang splitter with our tunnels in it. Um, so that'll be coming up soon or before this video. These vlog type ones are funny because I, I record them over a couple of days, sometimes almost like a week, and don't really know when I'll get around to editing, editing them and putting them out. But anyway, so we got a laundry list of things to do. Um, we will be figuring out spring rates for this thing, um, finishing up the wing mount and doing the splitter as well. So what we're gonna have to do is make a list. So here we go. All right, so if you watch the first few episodes, you know uh, we definitely want to uh, do the splitter. Let me change that to make splitter. Because after we make it, then we have to mount it. Um, we need to do um, make new uprights. Um, we need to mount the wing. Hashtag please don't call it a Wang. We need to do tech inspection. Springs. Do corner bounce. Alignment. I'll definitely do videos on these two. Um, how to do it with strings and how to corner balance a car. Um, oh, all my fluids. So that's uh, oil. Trans, diff, uh, brake. I think that's really it for this one, but that's about it. That's enough to get me on track and get me going. Uh, there's a bunch more that I wanna do, but this is kind of the initial list. So let's see, we'll just get started somewhere. All right guys, I just put the car back on the ground because what I'm going to do first is the tech inspection. The reason I'm gonna do the tech inspection just in case I need belts or a window net or uh, any, any parts to order, I wanna knock that out now because we're about a month away just in case there's any back orders or anything like that. Um, earlier I mentioned the tech sheet. So just about every sanctioning body will have something like this. You can kind of fill out yourself. So that way you can kind of be a little more confident when you show up at the track, you'll get your annual tech and you should be good. The reason we're doing that first is if you don't have the proper safety equipment, they will not let you on track. No questions. You may not have, you know, I may not have a new splitter or I may not, you know, get the new wing mounted. I can still go and run and race and have fun. But if you don't have the safety stuff, you're not getting on track. So that's why we're going to knock that out now. And then from there, we'll kind of move on to, to other things. All right, so these are usually pretty easy. Name, I mean, they should know me by now, right? Class, put a question mark. I'm not 100% sure right now. It doesn't really matter too much. Color, carbon, obviously. Uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't really change year over year, um, like windshield, Still the same tow hooks, didn't change the exhaust cage. Uh, you should have a log book and it should be right on it. So that makes that easy. Didn't do any cage work, so this is all just good. Engine compartment, I will go over in a second. Driver compartment, didn't change any of the master stuff. Um, I'll double check the terminals. You want to make sure they're all covered. Master switch decal is still there from last year. 
ballast, uh, depending if I run three, two, or AI, you know, they all have big, um, big giant backing plates and everything. Extinguisher, didn't change any of that. Um, I will want to check the date and the gauge on the extinguisher. Um, I do not have a fire system in this car, but kind of the same thing. I think, uh, oh, fire system's over on this line, which I do not have. Um, didn't change any of the hoses. I have a back brace, right side net. Uh, those are five years on those. Uh, I did just check it. We're good. We're good there. Harnesses, um, I'm good there. Mounting points did not change. A lot of this stuff just didn't change, so you can kind of zip right through it. Window net, less than five years. Check. It's, uh, it's good till 2020. Didn't change any of the release or mounting points. Fuel tank, I do not have a cell, so anything cell related does not apply here. Gas cap, yep. Yeah. Um, driver gear and equipment. Everything was new a year or two ago. So, you know, everything's up to date there, but it's a good idea just to double check for any rips or holes or anything like that. Engine compartment, coolant overflow tank, I never changed it. Uh, no antifreeze, and never even made it in here since the car stays inside over winter. Uh, no fluid leaks, hoses, battery didn't change. Firewall holes are still closed. Brake fluid level, I am gonna flush the brake fluid. I'll give myself a check there. Um, make sure that's good, no exposed wiring. So, yeah, I mean, they're really, once your car is built and teched and everything, there really isn't much to go over, much that can change year to year. Um, just anything that has dates on it, you wanna be aware of. So that's really it. Um, you know, annual, annual texts are, are pretty easy. All right, so the annual text good. I actually don't really need to order anything, so, on to the fun stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do first is make a duplicate of this, stick them together so that way when we cut out our raw material, we're not cutting out each and every single one because uprights are multiple, multiple layers. That way we just cut out one kind of larger piece, do the infusion, and then cut the two uprights out of that. It's a little bit quicker, a little bit easier that way. So we have our mirror released and ready to go. This is what we use to lay up everything. So what's, what's cool about a mirror is you don't really need to polish it or anything. You just need to make sure you release it and you can just lay up whatever you want on it. And the finish on the part is pretty close to a mirror finish. You can use glass as well. So that's about it for this one. Uh, we got close to laying up the uprights. We'll do that in the next one. Um, hopefully you still learn something from this. Um, it's not always just like making parts and going racing. There is some like back end stuff and that's kind of the point of the vlog is to kind of show you some of the background stuff that you still have to get into if you want to get into racing or making parts or, or anything like that. So. Um, I also don't want these to drag on too much, so I'm going to try and keep them around the 10 minute mark. Um, if you still are watching this late, uh, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know if like 10 minutes is too long, too short, if you want me to go into more detail on certain stuff. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Uh, next one we will definitely be doing the uprights um, and probably figuring out spring rights. So next time, I'll see you at the track.